Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. And today's topic is uh, sleep disorders. But before starting, I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share these videos to support this channel. And if you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. Now I come to the topic, uh, sleep disorders. What are these? So these are a group of conditions that affect the ability to sleep well on a regular basis, you know. And whether they are caused by a health problem or by too much stress, uh, these are becoming increasingly common these days, you know. And about 20 and, if, uh, you know, say people between the ages of 20 and 59, uh, mostly they report uh, having the sleep difficulties fairly on a regular basis, you know. And the most people occasionally experience sleeping problems due to stress or maybe hectic schedules, you know, or maybe other um, outside influences. Uh, but when these uh, issues begin to occur on a regular basis and interfere with the daily life, you know, they may indicate the sleeping disorders. Okay. And during, uh, uh, like, it depends on the type of the sleep disorder. And the people may have a difficult time falling asleep and may feel extremely tired uh, throughout the day, you know. And the lack of sleep can have a negative impact on the energy, on the mood, on the concentration at the work, or maybe studies, you know, and overall health as well, you know. And in some cases, the sleep disorders can be symptom of an other medical condition or medical condition, mental condition, you know. And these sleeping problems uh, may uh, eventually go away once the treatment is obtained for the underlying cause, you know. And when the sleep disorders are not caused by an other condition, and the treatment normally involves a combination of medical treatments and the lifestyle changes, you know. And it's important to receive the diagnosis and the treatment uh, right away if you suspect you might have sleep disorder. And if it's uh, left untreated, the negative effects of the sleep disorder can lead to further health consequences, you know. And they can also affect your performance at work, and performance in the school, and uh, cause strain in the relationships and impair your ability to perform the daily activities, you know. So it's important that uh, uh, you consult your doctor for further evaluation and uh, a proper treatment, you know. The next thing is what are the symptoms? Well, the symptoms uh, can differ depending on the severity and the type of uh, sleeping disorder. And you may also, uh, they may vary uh, when the sleep disorders are the result of an other condition, you know. And the general symptoms uh, of the sleep disorder may include like difficulty falling asleep uh, and staying asleep, you know, and daytime fatigue. And it's strong urge to uh, take naps, you know, during the day. Irritability or maybe anxiety or maybe lack of concentration and depression, you know. So these are the common symptoms of the sleep disorders, you know. The next thing, what are the causes? Well, there are many conditions, diseases and uh, disorders that can cause the sleep dis disturbances, you know. And in many cases, the sleep disturbances uh, develop as a result of an underlying medical condition, uh, like uh, allergies and respiratory problems, you know. Or maybe uh, like uh, 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 nocturia, you know. Or maybe um, like uh, chronic pain, or maybe uh, stress and anxiety, you know. Okay, so, uh, so for example, if I say, uh, uh, like, uh, uh, allergies, you know, like uh, allergies from any environmental allergies, you know, or maybe colds and uh, upper respiratory tract infections, they can make it challenging uh, to breathe at night, you know, and the inability to breathe uh, through your nose, it can cause the sleeping difficulties, you know and uh, frequent urination, you know, it may disturb the sleep. And chronic pains like uh, arthritis or maybe chronic fatigue syndrome or fibromyalgia, inflammatory bowel disease or persistent headaches, they can interfere the sleep, you know. And stress and uh, anxiety is another contributing factor to the sleep disorders, okay. And sleepwalking, etc., you know. And uh, there are different uh, types of the sleep disorders like uh, uh, insomnia, you know, or maybe uh, sleep apnea or uh, parasomnia, you know, 
or restless leg syndrome or uh, narcolepsy you know so narcolepsy is uh, characterized like uh, by the sleep attacks you know like uh, that occur during the day you know and this means that uh, you will suddenly feel extremely tired and fall asleep without uh, warning you know and uh, this uh, uh, can also cause sleep paralysis you know and uh, uh, which uh, uh, make you physically unable to move right after the wake up, you know. And another reason is like um, uh, restless leg syndrome, you know. It's an overwhelming need to move the legs, you know. And this surge is uh, sometimes accompanied by the tingling sensation in the legs, you know. And uh, like uh, uh, insomnia, you know. Like, uh, uh, you know. You know, in so many, it refers to uh, like uh, the inability to fall asleep or to remain in sleep, you know. And uh, it can, can be caused by jet lag and uh, yeah, jet lag is the main uh, reason, you know, and uh, other ones are like stress, anxiety, hormone. Uh, disturbances you know and will be digestive problems you know and it may uh, also be symptom of any other condition and uh, insomnia can be very like uh, problematic you know for overall health and quality of life you know and potentially it may cause uh, like depression or maybe difficulty and concentration you know irritability or maybe weight gain you know and uh, poor concentration at school or maybe at work you know and uh, insomnia is extremely common and these days you know and 50 percent people experience insomnia at some point in their lives you know and uh, it's usually classified uh, as uh, chronic or maybe intermittent and maybe transit, you know. So transit means which uh, is when insomnia lasts for just few nights at the time, you know. And the intermittent insomnia is when the insomnia occurs periodically, you know. And the chronic one is when insomnia happens on a regular basis for at least one month, you know. So these are the three types of, three main types of insomnia, you know. The next thing is sleep apnea, you know. You know, sleep apnea is uh, uh, characterized by the pauses uh, in breathing during sleep. So, this is a serious medical condition that can cause the body to take less oxygen. And it can also cause you to wake up during the night, you know. And uh, the next one is uh, parasomnias. They are a class of sleep disorders that cause uh, like abnormal movements and the behaviors during the sleep, like sleepwalking or sleep talking or maybe nightmares, bed wetting and like uh, teeth grinding, you know. Now, the next thing is how do doctors diagnose? Well. Your doctor will first perform the physical examination. He will ask the history of this condition, any family history, and uh, then he will advise some tests, you know, like uh, polysomnography, you know, or electro, uh, like uh, encephalogram, you know, or maybe uh, like uh, genetic blood testing, you know. Uh, in case of polysomnography, uh, is a sleep study, you know, and it evaluates the oxygen oxygen levels, the body movements and the brain waves to determine how they disturb the sleep, you know. And the electroencephalogram is a test that uh, assesses the electrical activity in the brain and detects any potential problems which are associated with the activity, you know. And the genetic blood testing is a blood test which commonly used to diagnose uh, narcolepsy and other underlying health conditions, you know, that might be causing the sleep problems. And uh, these uh, tests can be crucial in, in determining the uh, right course of treatment and the sleep disorders, you know. Now once diagnosed, then what are the treatment options, you know? Well, the treatment uh, 
it can vary depending on the type and the underlying condition and in generally it includes a combination of medical treatments and lifestyle changes and the medical treatments uh, uh, include like uh, sleeping pills maybe uh, and or maybe like uh, medications for any underlying health issues you know or maybe dental guards you know or maybe breathing devices for or the surgery usually for the sleep apnea you know and these are the treatment options which are available and the lifestyle changes uh, are the adjustments can greatly improve the quality of life and quality of sleep as well you know and uh, especially when you are uh, done along with the medical treatments you know so in combination lifestyle changes and the medical treatments they are very helpful and uh, uh, medical treatment uh, sorry health uh, 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 lifestyle changes may include like uh, incorporating more vegetables and uh, fish into your diet, you know, and uh, reducing the sugar intake, reducing the stress and anxiety, or maybe creating a and sticking to a regular sleeping schedule, you know, okay, which is very important, you know, or maybe decrease the tobacco and alcohol use and uh, eating smaller low carbohydrate meals before bedtime. Okay, and going to bed and waking up at the same time every day, it can help significantly to improve your quality of life. And, uh, you know, yeah, that's it. And thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. And please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more information every day. Thank you and goodbye.